Welcome to 10 Things. 10 Things We Love About Legacy of Cain Soul River. We have previously done Legacy of uh, Blood Omen, Legacy of Cain, me and Liam. Now, with Damon, we are doing Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver. The, the better game, let's yep. be honest. It is the better game. It's hard Definitely. because they're so wildly different. Yes, uh, I mean... Can't be. I mean, Blood Omen can't can't be that game. From it's a, it's a blast from the past, but mm. I much prefer Legacy of Star River. I do too. For, it's more my my style of gameplay, mm. uh, and there's a lot of great reasons to love it. But yeah, there is no real comparing the two. One that that one is such a jump ahead. So of course we have ten things we love, ten things I love, ten things you love, and of course at a later point there will be a ten things we hate. But we'll get to that another time. Beginning with ten things we love. Go on and watch your first one. Uh, I got I, I got um Raziel. Raziel. Yeah, Raziel. Yep. Like, compared to, I mean, it, again, it's obviously going to be comparing from uh, Kane, uh, Blood and Kane to, to this. But, I mean, compared to Kane, Raziel is just really, he's just a cool character. You know? mm. I mean, he's he's better in every way. Obviously, 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 he's a more advanced game, but he he looks better, he acts better, he's more he's more of a likable character. I okay. Think, to, to, towards Kane, where Kane is. I don't know, he's like melodramatic. Posh, posh and stuck up and well, he's melodramatic as yeah, well. Yeah. Woe was me. A bit of both yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree with what you're saying. In fact, I have it as well. Mm. So we double up on this. So I'll add my point to it. Uh, yeah, he was an excellent idea. As a, I see him as more of a, an anti-hero, mm. where you're not really. He's not. Uh, he's not. He's, 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 his entire thesis is that he's self, is for selfish reason. Yep. But his story makes sense, and his arc is enjoyable. It's similar to Kane in the sense that he sets out to do something small originally. Well, Kane originally wants revenge. For his murder, hmm. and then ends up getting pulled into this wider thing. Raziel just wants revenge on Cain, yep. and then obviously when he battles Cain at first time, the Soul River shatters and yep. so on. It becomes a bigger story around that, um, and the fact that it's not kind of complete by the end is cool as well. Oh, yeah, I agree; definitely. he's a good character. Yeah. All right, we doubled up, so go again. Um, I got um, drinking souls okay. instead of blood. You know, I mean. <laughs> Drinking the blood, in the, obviously the, the blood was always cool. Yes. In the first, in the first one, but I mean, just the way he uh, Raziel can he, he pulls down his like his little mask thing, and then he's got he's got the teeth showing, obviously because obviously he's been burnt alive. Yeah, and he's missing his lower jaw. Yeah, so I, 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 I like the idea of collecting souls mm -hmm. instead of obviously drinking blood. You know. I think again, if you, because the game is so different. Mm. Uh, you wanted to do something different. Yeah, of course. And it worked. Yeah. And it's a cool animation. It's a cool look. I always remember being someone's annoyed where it's like, the soul wouldn't get to you quick enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't have that one. Okay, so my next my next one then is... Um, it has one of the best intros of a video game ever. Certainly of the PlayStation era. Uh, the Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver's introduction. And you know the music that hits. Um... And the swoop down onto the pillars and the reveal of Cain sitting in the throne, the generals, Raziel's coming in, the reveal of the wings and then leading up to him, throwing him into the pit of uh, the, the swirling vortex. Yep. That is an incredible introduction. The music, the visuals, the whole style. It, yeah, it, it, is, it is one of the best of the PlayStation era for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cain is deified. The clans tell tales of him. Few know the truth. He was mortal once, as were we all. However, his contempt for humanity drove him to create me and my brethren. I am Razio, firstborn of his lieutenants. I have served Cain a millennium. The gift continued to evolve. We became less human and more divine. Cain would enter the state of change and emerge with a new gift. Some years after the Master, our evolution would follow. Until I had the honor of surpassing my lord. For my transgression, I earned a new kind of reward. A 
The spirit, this, this, the uh, spirit realm. Okay. Yes. You know, yeah. Okay. The fact that I, I, I like the idea of being able to cross over. Yep. And you know, I so said it was always, it, 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 yeah, and obviously uh, when you cross over, it changes. Yep. You know, so obviously um, there might be a path we couldn't go through, and it's yep. changed over, and, and a path appears there. Yep. You know, I like that idea. It's pretty cool idea. Yeah. I do. I agree. I have got, I've got something similar, which is the jump in between planes really added something mm. to the game. Um, yeah, it really added a lot to the puzzle elements, the exploration side. Uh, some areas would see massive changes, like to the style and the visuals, and even how the game felt yeah. when you went. It felt more dead, yeah. if, that's, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I agree. So we double up again. You go again. <laughs> um, I've got um, uh, gliding and flying. Yep. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Again, obviously, it's uh, obviously something, something new from the from, from obviously the original to this one here. Yeah, I've been able to. It's not, not. It's not really flying. It's more like gliding. Like it's like, gliding, really, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because yeah, you never go up. Plus, down. You know, so like you know, from yeah. Toy Story, I could just just. I mean, Glide. It was, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was something new, you know, and it was good. It was cool. Yeah. I remember uh, the demo back in the day. We did a yeah. classic reaction to it. Seeing that gliding was like, oh my god, yeah. what, where could you explore with it? It's not as cool when you, you know, in the sense that you don't get to fly and never becomes anything but that. But yeah, yeah. it was again something different. Which brings me to my next one, because I don't have that, which brings me to my next one, which we actually touched upon at the start before we actually went through the numbers, which is simply, it's an incredible step forward for the series. I think, at least from that era, probably the biggest jump in game styles and quality and uh, action and gameplay of that. Hmm. Think of a, a, another game series that went from its first to its second game and was so wildly different, even though, and but was still was a sequel. Well, well, well I mean, the change was... Unbelievable, you know, yeah. actually, from, from, it was, it was, like, it was like night and day. It really, it. really yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Bosses and Kane's lieutenants. Okay. So obviously, like, I mean, there's two, there's two bosses, or two lieutenants, which, which I, I, I remember the most. Like, there's one with the big spider one. Oh, the one inside the cathedral, yeah. 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 And there's another one where it's like some, I don't know, like a big, big monster is. Is that yeah. where you learn 
if you kill him, the one that learn, gets you to allow you to go to, through to, yeah, the to, to go through walls and stuff. Yeah, like that, right? uh, the defenses. Yeah. yeah, I think like obviously again, obviously comparing from the original one, I, I can't remember. I mean, there wasn't really any. There were bosses, bosses yeah, I, I, but I mean, there was, but not, but not like this. No, it never no. felt like a huge battle of that. No, makes no, sense. this year, and I mean, these bosses here are literally they're massive. They fill up the whole, the whole screen, and they were they're different. You know, different. Yeah, I think so. I think so. It's not something I've got, but uh, yeah. Uh, so we're all right. right, the Soul Reaver. The Soul River itself. Now, I do believe that I do think the Soul River is muted as fuck. When you compare that weapon yep. in the original to what it is here, <laughs> however, it's still cool as hell. And I actually really love the spiritual version when it shatters. That I love the way it curls around yeah, his arms. Arm, yeah. like, that's just a cool look. Yeah, simply the Soul River. Yep. Yeah, I don't want to. Oh yeah, cool. Yep. Okay, I'll go again then because we doubled up. Are the multiple ways to dispatch enemies? The idea that you actually had to treat them like vampires because they would heal. So, like, you had to think outside, well, not often it'd be set up for you, but like, the idea that, okay, um, you'd have to throw them in sunlight and they'd kill them that way. Or if you stabbed them with something and didn't consume their soul, the body would remain there. And then if you pulled a weapon out, they would reanimate. <laughs> they were actually vampires. That was cool. Yeah, I mean, I've got it on too, you know, because obviously, you know, there were spikes. You could uh, throw, them, throw them against the wall into spikes, throw yeah. them in the water. Uh, obviously, set them on fire. Yep. Yeah, so, yeah, so I, I don't want to. Yeah, there's definitely multiple ways. It's cool. Right then. Oh god, so actually I technically did have something for the bosses, but it's tied into another, so I'll mention it now. Uh, the dungeon style gameplay is actually done very well, so Soul Reaver follows a formula done by uh, many games before. Open world, here's the world. There's the dungeon. Mm. That's what you need to make your way through to beat the boss. Beat the boss, you get a power-up that allows you to go somewhere else. It's yep. very Legend of Zelda, that sort of stuff. Yep. And uh, I think it's done very well in Soul Reaver and always cul culminates in a, a grand boss fight. Yeah. Uh, which, like I said, always gives you that new ability, which means you feel like you're progressing. Yep, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay, go on then. Um, I've got the uh, soundtrack. Okay, yep. You know, I mean, compared to, obviously, again, from the original one, where I think it, the, the music was pretty much virtually the same of the same areas this year. It, it didn't really change. Mm -hmm. Where in this game, yeah, the music is it's exciting. It's bloody proper. Like, I mean, you mentioned the, the, the trailer. The, the trailer alone. Yeah, just, yeah. Just wins you over just by the music. Agreed. You know? And yeah, no, the, the, the soundtrack definitely. Yeah, I have it as well. Uh, I think the music fits the game wonderfully. It's really gothic stuff a lot of the time. A lot of percussion, a lot of heavy drums being hit, a lot of thumps, a lot of these horn sections. It's very, mm. very gothic-y and fits the game really, really well. And I love the way it would switch between when you're in the material and the spectral world and you would have that change as well. Mm. Yeah, I had it as well. All right. One last one, which I've got, I've got um, Crystal, Dyna uh, Crystal Dynamics. Right. You know, just um, they made they made two classic games. Mm. And obviously, unfortunately, obviously they're, they're no more. Mm. But you know, two two great games, and mm. well, in my in, in my in my opinion, two great games. They, I, 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 I mean, they might have made more, but I can't really think of any any. Oh, off the top of my head, I can't. Yeah, but I know sorry. Crystal Dynamics were a name back in the day. Mm. The only reason I'm going hmm is because I know uh, after in when it, well, we'll talk more about the hate thing, but ultimately there's a there's a lot of shit that kind of stopped this being... I mean, technically, you could argue Crystal Dynamics it was more Silicon Knights for Blood Omen as well, mm. which caused the issues. But we'll oh, get yeah, to more yeah, into yeah, that. Okay. Uh, okay, so you run out. You've got no more, yeah? Yep. Um, how many more have I got? I've got two more. How did we do that? You definitely got ten. Uh, yeah. We just doubled up. Yeah, doubled up quite a lot. Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, simple enough. Nosgoth feels so big. And exploration is encouraged, especially later in the game. You know, it's an open world, but like many open worlds, it's got linear paths. You're supposed to go this way, you're mm. supposed to go that way. There might be the odd deviation here. Yeah. And that's very much Soul Reaver, but it felt big. I think that's important. It felt huge. Yeah, definitely. And uh, challenging puzzles. Man, oh man. I think you forget when you haven't played it a while. But Soul Reaver fucking made you have to think sometimes those block moving puzzles have oh, a oh, word yeah. <laughs> yeah and even the movement between material and spectral you know like you, it can it would add some challenging puzzles mm. yeah there you go 10 things 
we love about Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Let us know some of yours in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on GBHBL.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?